Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how a normal ECG looks like. So here you can see a normal ECG reading. So in a ECG reading, there are different waves, then there is segment and there is interval. So we will discuss everything one by one. So first we will come to the waves. Here you can see six waves P, Q, R, S, T and U. So the first the P wave is the deflection that is produced by atrial depolarization. Then comes your Q wave which is a negative deflection. Then R wave which is a positive deflection and then S wave which is again a negative deflection. So it is negative then positive and then again negative. So this Q, R and S wave combines together and forms Q, R, S complex. Right? So it is the deflection produced by ventricular depolarization. P wave atrial depolarization QRS complex ventricular depolarization. Now is the T wave. Now T wave is the deflection that is produced by ventricular repolarization. Now you can also see an U wave. So it is not seen commonly in ECGs, right? But it occurs due to slow repolarization of papillary muscles. Now we will see the segment. So there are two segments, PR segment and ST segment. The PR segment starts from the end of P wave and the beginning of QRS complex. And the ST segment starts with the end of QRS complex and beginning of P wave. Now let's see the intervals. There are main three intervals, PR interval, QRS interval and QT interval. So PR interval is the interval between the beginning of P wave to the beginning of QRS complex. The range of PR interval is 0 0.12 to 0 0.20 second. This PR interval shortens as the heart rate increases from the average of 0 0.18 second at 70 beats per minute to 0 0.14 second when the heartbeat is 130 right so the significance of PR interval is it represents atrial depolarization and conduction through the AV node now the QRS interval or QRS duration this is the interval of the QRS complex the normal range is 0 0.08 to 0 0.10 seconds the significance of this QRS duration is it represents ventricular depolarization now the QT interval it is measured from the beginning of QRS complex to the end of T wave the normal range of this is 0 0.40 to 0 0.43 seconds the significance of this QT interval is it represents ventricular depolarization and ventricular repolarization. It corresponds to the duration of electrical systole. Right? So other than that, there is ST, PP and RR interval. First is your ST interval. So from S to T, it is basically the QT minus QRS right so 0 0.40 minus 0 0.08 that is 0 0.32 seconds now this represents ventricular repolarization next is your PP interval it is the interval measured between either the peaks or the beginnings of two successive P waves it is measured for calculating the atrial rate. Now there is RR interval which is the interval between two successive R waves. The RR interval is measured for calculating the heart rate. RR is equals to HR and PP is equals to 
AI right so remember that now in the next video I will discuss about some abnormal ECGs